Hey guys, okay, so I'm coming to you with another DIY project. This one is all about the cats. This is a quick and easy way to make a cat toy for your favorite feline friend. I'd also like to put the idea in your head that this would be awesome to get like a few of your girlfriends over and make a bunch of these. You know, like if you make a dozen of them and take them to your local humane society or local shelter and actually give, donate them for the cats that are there waiting for new homes. That would be amazing. So to do this project, a couple of things you need, really quick, really easy, scrap material. I have a ton left over from other projects that I did. So if you don't have a lot of scrap material, a couple of really old t-shirts that you don't like anymore will work perfect. So yeah, that good pair of fabric scissors to cut out the shapes totally optional some chalk you know I think once you get the shape down of what you're gonna cut out um, it's pretty easy to just kind of freestyle it but for those of us who may not trust our freestyling skills fabric chalk helps needle and thread totally easy you know it's just a little bit of hand sewing it's not a lot at all totally optional um, a bag of these little tiny bells that you get you can get those at the fabric store I think this is like a dollar fifty or something but they're totally cool to add to the end of the tail so it kind of makes a noise when the kitty plays with them and last but not least is something to actually stuff the toy with and I had some a bag of like batting old batting that you would use like to fill the pillow or something and I got this at the fabric store I think it was a huge bag maybe like five bucks or something but seriously if you don't have any of this stuff don't fret you know you can use something else um, fill the mouse with a few scraps of material I've done that before um, cotton balls that'll work you know just stuff a few cotton balls in there so that is pretty much it. Um, another optional thing is catnip. I know some cats like it, some don't. So if your kitty loves it, add it. If they don't, skip it. So that's pretty much it. So I'll get right into the project.
So you survived another one of my DIY projects. You want to see more? Hit the subscribe button and show some support. So I'm just going to close this video by saying thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, go to the blog. The link is down below. I always have that as a backup for any project that I do. So if you have, you know, if you're wondering something or have a question, just head there because I'm more than likely I cover it. So I will say thank you for watching again and I will see you guys later. Bye.